Welcome back to Otaku Tycoon. We are going to be doing Agartha. Yay! Let me send a Discord invite out. And also set my phone um, so that it won't keep turning off on me. Um, so that, that would certainly be nice. nice. That would certainly be nice. Hi, little boy. I just gave you a treat. Hi, Lonely. I just gave you a treat. Lonely. Hello. Alrighty, let's see here. Alrighty, let's see here. I wanna check my formation right now. Check. Already set up. Um, how many empty slots for servants do I currently have? Um, how many empty slots for servants do I currently have? Not a ton. Oh no, <clears throat> sorry, that's my cost. That doesn't matter. Um, Alright, I want to look how many I can hold just to make sure. Oh, okay, now I got plenty of room. We are going to summon or try to summon. Nepenthesilia, we need you. We need you. Den roll. Den roll. It's been a while since I've rolled. Give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. I know I can get her on the guarantee four star or whatever that one is towards the end of the year, but I need her now. Boo! Hear an echo kind of thing? I don't know why. Gotten two of her, huh? Got two of her, huh? Wah, wah, wah. So far. You got a mortared out of it though, that's good. That's very good. You know, you're nice and all. Oh, oh. Oh, we saw that. What is it? It's a berserker! <gasps> Fuck yeah! I am a lucky son of a bitch! Woo! <laughs> Come to me! Just one ten roll. Then I can save the rest for summer. Oh damn! I love it. I love it. I love it. Save the rest for summer. What a nice day. And a sexy ream. I fucking love it. I love it. I got exactly what I wanted. Now I don't know if I have the right as uh, ascension materials. Oh, I think I've already got Max Ushi, but just seeing her is nice. Oh, I think I've already got Max Ushi, but come on, you wild beast! I know a lot more about you than that. 
それでいいだろう I know a lot more about you than that You need those orange crystals? Hmm. Well, we'll find out if I have them. <laughs> Clearly, I have saved up enough blaze of wisdoms. Inventory is full. Um. Enhancement. Yes. Where are you? Fantasilia. There you are! You're the first berserker that I might actually rely upon. And if you haven't noticed, I do have the lore of Penthesilia up already. If you haven't noticed, I do have the lore of Find out all about her. It tells the story of Agartha, so do bear that in mind. Find out all about her. It tells the story of Agartha, so do bear that in mind. Reached. Let's see here. Ascension, huh? Well, first one's easy enough. Reached. Let's see here. Ascension, huh? Well, first one's easy enough. Yes, I want to use her in battle. Yes, I want to use her in battle. You can hold and draw to choose the cards? Oh, really? Let's give that a shot. I'm curious. In fact, where's my other Ushi? I'm genuinely curious to see if I have a maxed Ushi already. She should be up towards the top. Ushi, where are you? There you are. What MP are you? There you are. What MP are you? Five out of five. Okay, cool. I might as well feed some of these. Uh, actually, no. I'll, I'll burn them later. I might as well feed some of these. Is that an extra Kintoki? Uh, actually, no. I'll, I'll burn them later. Kintoki, did I not noble phantasm you? Weird. I'll leave that alone for now. Oh, look at that! I'll leave that alone for now. Oh, look at that. Oh. Cool. Yeah, that is pretty neat. Thank you for the advice. Yay, we got a lucky. Ascension! There we go. Yes, she's wild. Ascension! Yes, she's wild. Sechoka! Toshio Toru no de Nakereba no Zamashiba. Are you looking so down? I'm gonna level you the fuck up. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna level you the fuck up. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh-huh. Yeah, that does make it a lot faster. Yeah. Is she worth a grail? Mm, I don't know. Not yet. I won't do it yet. I haven't even tried her out. But I do like grailing four stars instead of five stars because you get more bang for your buck. I haven't even tried her out. Zuyo-san, 
I've got a whole nother hundred of these <laughs> waiting. It's been a while since I had a servant I actually wanted, so here we go. Another hundred of these waiting. It's been a while since I had a servant I actually wanted, so here we go. Put it on more clothes. No, just kidding. The top is nice. I like that. The top is nice. I'll, I'll give her a test run. If she passes with flying colors like it sounds like she might, I'll be good to go. I'll, I'll give her a test run. If she passes with flying colors like it sounds like she might, I'll be good to go. I'm going to pump you up! Those poor lasses that try to cosplay her at cons. You know what? If you have even remotely her physique, go for it. Ain't nobody who should shame you for that. If you have even remotely her physique, go for it. Ain't nobody who should shame you for that. For the costume malfunctions. Yes! Yeah, it's, it's, it's always a battle. I mean, even full armor will fall apart on you. Yes. It's always a battle. I mean, even full armor will fall apart on you. So, Neon Genesis Evangelion is now out on um, Netflix, which is cool. I'll have to see how that dub works out. On um, Netflix, which is cool. I'll have to see how that dub works out. I'm excited to see it in HD after so much time, though. I'm excited to see it in HD after so much time, though. I don't know why they insisted on redubbing the whole thing, but... Eh. Tis what it is. Well, that's the thing. SJWs don't really complain about cosplayers. Um, usually pretty supportive of that. SJWs don't really complain about cosplayers. Usually pretty supportive of that. Alright, it's time to open up my next batch of goodies. <laughs> it's time to open up my next batch of goodies. Alright, it's time to open up my next batch of And back to it! <laughs> the original is legal to sell? Well, okay, how about that? Um, why they didn't recast the old team, I guess, is the other question. Okay, how about that? Um, why they didn't recast the old team, I guess, is the other question. And I wonder if they're using the uh, the full special edition. I would certain uh, certainly hope so. I wonder if they're using the, uh, the full special edition. I would certainly. Hope so. What was the they call it? The platinum edition when it came out or something? What was the they call it? The platinum edition when it came out or something? Ascension. Well, I, I damn well know that the original voice actors were trying to audition and had a hard time, like they didn't, Netflix didn't want them or something. It's kind of weird. 
to audition. Definitely kind of uh, weird. Netflix did a want them or something. Kind of weird. Wait, I'm not ascending anymore. Back off. Kind of weird. This is my bizarre car. There you are. Bears their car. Roar! Her last form might not be advertiser friendly. She's fine. She's not naked. She's wearing the same clothes in there. She's wearing the same clothes in there. At this rate, almost anything can be advertiser unfriendly as far as YouTube's concerned. It's tisk tisk. At this rate, almost anything can be advertiser unfriendly as far as YouTube's concerned. It's tisk tisk. You like Zerker a lot? Cost so many cards. Cost so many cards. And Toy Story 4 is out too. I'm gonna have to see that. I'm excited. Toy Story 4 is out too. Well, I just made her lore. I'm very familiar with this picture. <laughs> My summons were successful. <laughs> the one I wanted? It's right here, and I'm pumping her up before we dive in. The one I wanted? It's right here, and I'm pumping her up before we dive in. Well, yeah, if you're just starting out, go ahead and re-roll. If, if not, don't do that, obviously. If you have servants you like, you gotta keep them. Tis the trick. I re-rolled like crazy till I got my Artoria. How many second corns? I did one ten roll, and boom, she showed up. It was kind of amazing. Normally the four stars evade me quite a bit. Like I never did get Ruler Martha. If she comes back, you know damn well I'm going for. I need her to live. Alrighty, she is almost pumped up. Let's take a look at her skills. We'll learn about her as we go. Because of course I choose my servants based on if I think they're attractive or not. And then see if they're any good later. Um, where'd she go? Ah, oh, there we go. First of all, if I want to see... Okay, what are her... They don't want to tell us what her noble phantasm is yet. That's because she's going to be pissed at Achilles and it's a spoiler. Um... Her cards can be her third ascension. Um, her icon can be that. Her cards can be her third ascension. Um, icon. Status icon can be that too. That's fine. But her character skin. I'm gonna keep her first. I like the first one. Alright, okay, so we like the attack up, we like the buster up, and what do you do, my friend? Apply debuff immunity and increase MP gauge each turn. I love these skills. I do. I sure do. I love these skills. I do. These be good skills. I want 
gonna stick with the first ascension for that one. Oh, I didn't change anything. What? I just changed it. Why? Why you ignore? Oh, I didn't change anything. What? I just changed it. Why? Can you do that? Can you do that? Is it this one? Is that what they mean? No? Why is it not? Oh. No? Why is it not? Oh. Fine, I'll just make everything first ascension. Be that way! What's good is I haven't dealt with any berserkers hardly at all before, so I have all these extra mats. It is nifty. Only thing as usual is running out of fucking QP if I do that. Okay, I don't have... Wow, that's a material I've never seen before. Oh, it is the card art, huh? No. No, it doesn't seem to matter. Oh, oh. No. Really? It's the card art that does that? Ah! Okay, I, I like looking at that, but it's not what I was trying to do. Hmm. Okay, well, let's, let's test your theory. Hey, you're right. You're right. Hey, you're right. You're right. And again, I'm held back by that material. That I've never seen before. Blaze on through and spend all of my money. I'm a broke motherfucker now. <laughs> Alrighty. Now, um, I gotta change up my supports. Sorry, Fran. Now, um, I gotta change up my supports. Sorry, Fran. For my waiver, I still gotta put on the 2230. 2030 is good. Masashi, I'm gonna put this. This is the quick one, right? Yeah, the quick. Wait, what's wrong? Okay. Quick one is good for Skahak. Well, that's 10. What about the Caldea boys? 10. Yeah, that's better. I like to give Shiki because she hides in the shadows and shanks them, this guy. Um, I like to give Shiki because she hides in the shadows and shanks them, this guy. What do we got for Buster? Who got Buster? What do we got for Buster? 
I mean, that's not horrible either. Good for her arts cards. that oh where's the kaleidoscope damn it can't see it it's mixed in with all this shit find her forgive me I'm blind and my phone screen is tiny I find her. there you are forgive me I'm blind and my phone screen is tiny there you are Does it? Nice. Okay. Okay. We are ready to begin. Do a Gartha! Already to begin. Hey there, Sarah. Looks like you came ready ready for anything. Just like I told you. You're looking as lovely as the Mona Lisa. What's this? Is this your attempt at flattering your commander? Who the hell taught you to be so clever? Nonetheless. That was very bene. So bene. In fact, you deserve one of Da Vinci's homemade gold stars of excellence. I'm echoing. Ooh, and thank you for the subscribe. Let me listen to my own audio because I don't know why it's echoing. There's like no reason the audio feed should be ramping through. Hmm. 
I'll keep my headphones on and monitor it. Hmm. I'll keep my headphones on and monitor it. Because right now it sounds fine to me. I'll keep my headphones on and monitor it. Never mind. Because right now it sounds fine to me. Never mind. Because right now it sounds fine to me. Weird, where's that audio coming from? That's weird, where's that audio coming from? That's weird, where's that audio coming from? Oh. Whoops. There we go. I think I fixed it. Shame on me. Obvious as some things may be, it's still worthwhile to point them out now and again. It's a sad fact of life that people can get used to almost anything after all. I got Penthesilia. I'm very happy. Without a bit of affirmation here and there, one could ever be... One could even become accustomed to my own marvelous beauty. Hard as that may be to imagine. Yes, and th thank you, Hola Leo 12, very much. Um, Acting Commander, can we please focus on the matter at hand? <laughs> I was just trying to lighten the mood, especially since our subject is pretty heavy. Okay, Mashu, take it away. Well, Senpai, to get straight to the point, we've discovered what appears to be another singularity involving one of the surviving demon god pillars, like in Shinjuku. A demon god pillar? Why are you surprised? That's right. As you know, the 72 pillars are demon gods with fearsome power that combine to make up Solomon, or rather, magical protocol Getia. We believe this to be one of the pillars that escaped from the Temple of Time. Oh, 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 oh. We've checked it against the data we acquired from Shinjuku, and are all but certain. However... I don't blame Mashu for not wanting to say this. You may have ray-shifted to all manner of places and singularities, but this one is highly unusual even compared to your previous endeavors. At first, we couldn't even believe that a singularity would appear there of all places. But we double and triple checked our calculations and we're sure of our results. We have to assume it's really there and act accordingly, even if it doesn't seem to make any sense. Of course, it goes without saying that there's no telling what could happen there or what sort of dangers may be waiting. But that's where ray shifts are for, to go to times and places that don't even begin to qualify as ordinary. Right. Caldea's order applies even if... No, precisely because these situations are so unusual. And of course, it makes sense that the Caldean master, with the most knowledge and experience, would be the one we send to look into and resolve the matter. Me? I got an impressive resume? <laughs> Which means... Another singularity for me, huh? You got it. The fact of the matter is, we don't have any other reliable ray shift candidates. We know that. I know we're asking a lot of you, taking on another long-term investigation so soon after Shinjuku, but we really don't have another option. That said, I wouldn't blame you for refusing this time around, but it looks like I don't need to worry about that, do I? Right. In our current situation, when there's no one that can take on the responsibility of ray-shifting, 
Master Sarah is more determined than anyone to take her turn at bat. I just wish I could fight alongside you again, Senpai. Me too. Technically you do. As soon as you're back to your old self. Thank you, Senpai. I'll do my best to make that happen soon. In the meantime, I'll be sure to keep observing you here. I use every piece of information at my disposal to eliminate danger before it reaches you. In that sense, all of Caldea's observational equipment will be my shield. Well said. In battles like these, that kind of support is absolutely crucial. People out in the field tend to overlook them, but logistical support and reconnaissance are critical aspects of success on a battlefield. Besides, you have other capable servants. It may be dangerous, but you'll have everything you need to succeed on your mission. Alright then, since we can't keep referring to these pseudo-singularities, I think it's time to give this order a proper name. We are up against stray remnants that broke free from the 72 demon god pillars during our battle at the Temple of Time. These remnants developed consciousnesses of their own, deserted Getia, and scattered themselves around the world of their own volition. Our mission is to retrieve these dregs that should never have existed in the first place. So, given all of that, we will call the operation to eliminate the pseudo-singularities Remnant Order. In essence, it'll be a cleanup operation of the Grand Order's collateral damage. Not that that means it'll be easier than the other singularities. Got it. So where am I going now? Listen up. We have determined that time period and location of the singularity. It is in Central Asia, sometime in the 2000s. It's very close to our own time, much like Shinjuku. To date, there are no records of noteworthy wars or other major incidents taking place here. The strange part, though, is the singularity's coordinates. It turns out that this one is located deep, deep beneath the surface of the Earth. Hello! What we're dealing with is a mysterious underground hollow large enough to house an entire country that appeared seemingly out of nowhere in Central Asia. That is your next destination. Woo! Dude, I would play so much Extella Link with Mashu. Starting on Summon Program, commencing Spiritron Conversion. Ray Shift begins in 3, 2, 1. All systems are go. Analyze lost order. Commencing remnant order search. <laughs> Pseudo Singularity 2, Humanity Foundation Value, 2080 Subterranean World of Folklore Agartha. <laughs> Women of Agartha. Ooh, you're speaking my language. Underground planes. Let's go. Welcomed by the Subterranean World. <laughs> Let's see y'all. Pentham subbing you in. You can use this. She's good. We'll give her her stabby McStab weapon. I need 20, 30 for you, my boy. Finally back to that. Where is it? There you go. That's my shoe. She don't need no, no thing. For good measure, I'm going to put our Toria. Seems good. We should be fine. No advertise. No avatar. Not today. Um, I've got a friend coming at 3.30, and the dual audio would mean my lip sync is responding to both. It would be kind of silly. And I also noticed that when I'm playing FGO, my phone is much lower than the screen I'm looking at, so my avatar has a hard time staring at the screen. Hmm. 
It looks like you've safely arrived at the ray shift coordinates. You're so lucky that I spent all that time making sure everything was in order. Your surroundings look to be in fine shape, too. I've rarely seen foe so happy to have tagged along. Physical and mental state all green. Your values all appear to be within normal parameters, but... How are you feeling, Senpai? Do you feel sick or short of breath? If you experience any numbness, headache, stomach, or terrible wrenching heartache at the idea of not having your kohai with you, please let us know. Mashu, I need you. Oh, I love you, Mashu. It is a little trub lonesome over here. Huh, it's not like you to be so vague, Sarah. From what I can tell, there isn't anything particularly distressing about your surroundings. Is there something on your mind? I don't think that's it, Acting Commander. There are some things you can't tell from scan data alone. Remember, Senpai is the first person to set foot in a place that has been completely unknown to humanity. We may have tried to find out as much about it as we could ahead of time, but there's really no way of knowing what sort of effect that could have on someone. Good point. I know I certainly wasn't expecting to see this much greenery in a subterranean space. In fact, hmm, there is something strange about this place. It's that there's nothing strange about it. This place is several kilometers under the surface. We should be dealing with extreme heat and air pressure, and yet nothing, nothing of the sort as far as I can tell. Carmilla in Enhandai. <laughs> Where is the air that Sarah is breathing right now even coming from? Plants? If that's the case, how are they here? How do they have light or photosynthesis? Thank you! Thank you very much for the follow. I know we've seen the underworld, but that could only exist in the Age of Gods, not the year 2000. So, how can this underground world be so lush? Even a universal genius like me has no explanation. I think the moss on the ceiling is glowing. It's alive! Then perhaps it's a type of luminescent moss? You'd think so, but that type of moss only collects ambient light through its lens-shaped cell structure. As much as you'll see in fi uh, you'll see it in fiction, it's not really possible for plants to emit light equivalent to the sun's rays. I see. So we really don't know what's going on here. It's nothing like the Bal Babylonian underworld. It doesn't seem like the Aztec underground world. Zibalba, that Quetz uh, Quetzalcoatl <laughs> once told us about either. It seems like you're in an actual subterranean space rather than an alternate dimension for the afterlife. All we can say for sure, Sarah, is that this place is bizarre. Put differently, this place doesn't seem to be quite following the laws of nature as we understand them. In a sense, it may be best to think of that underground space as a different, independent world. Hmm. A whole new world. The new fantastic underground. I think it deserves a better name than just underground space. From now on, I'm going to call it Agartha. It's the name of a legendary subterranean kingdom from a cult myth. Pretty fitting, wouldn't you say? Nice and simple. I like it. Yes, I feel the same. Although, wasn't Elena the one who told us about that? Now that you mention it, yes, she did write about Agartha back when she was alive. As I recall, she said it was one of the most important elements of occult history, an ideal underground paradise located at the center of the hollow earth. Well, it's too soon to say if the object of her research has anything to do with this place. There are at least some similarities with this strange underground world. No doubt Elena would have been overjoyed to see this for herself. In fact, I thought she'd be interested in hearing about the situation, but she's not here, is she? <gasps> Master, Acting Commander, I am so sorry. I forgot to mention that back when we first confirmed Agartha's existence, 
It was reported that a number of Caldea's servants have gone missing. Aw, shit. And one of them is Elena Blavatsky. Aw, double shit. Well, well, and here I was half joking. Maybe she's already here. That's so weird, you're just walking around Caldea and then poof! Servants just are like, gone. Go to somewhere else. Of course, this is Elena we're talking about. She may have ray shifted here on her own after hearing about the place. Or she may have been resummoned there automatically for a completely different reason. After all, she is the heretic, I mean, hero of the occult world, with ties to UFOs and everything. I don't think she'd be able to keep away from a place like that, with how connected it is to the occult. Did you say a number of? Yes, I did. We've confirmed three so far. Heracles, Fergus, and Drake. Hmm, I can't think of any connection between them. It's possible that, with the incineration of humanity having been stopped, they just chose to end their contracts on their own. Bullshit. They still my servants. But I bet there's some kind of connection to this, even if we can't tell what it might be yet. Anyway, we can worry about that later. Right now, all we can say for sure is that Elena, and maybe a few other servants, might be there. If you can track them down, I think you should try to rendezvous with them. They should be willing to cooperate, since, you know, you already know them and all. I agree, and if Elena really is there, we may be able to learn something useful from her, since she knows so much about mythical underground worlds. That would be a great help in keeping Master safe, so if she's there, I hope you find her soon. Don't you worry about a thing, Master. You have other capable servants who are willing to, a willing and able to accompany you wherever you go, however strange or dangerous. Servants like me. Well, someone ate their vitamins this morning. <laughs> I don't know what you mean, but was that a compliment? Yay! We're going on a journey with a Stolfo. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Stop it, foe, that tickles. We both snuck along to accompany Master, so we should be friends. Astolfo is in Astolfo the Rider Class Servant, one of the twelve paladins of Charlemagne. That's me. This looked like it was going to be fun, so I thought I'd come along and help you out. Mashu, could you tell the guy working with the coffins I said thanks for helping me stow away? Thanks. Sure, he's right here. Astolfo says thank you, Mr... Munir? Of course, I hardly need to tell you that this is against regulations. You won't be fired since you did help Master, but I believe there may be some ramifications when it comes time to evaluate your bonus. Oh, Mashu. Chill. Woohoo! Hey, I was happy to help Astolfo out. Totally worth it. He gave me one of those dick-sucking plushies while we were at it. Thanks, mister. I can't wait to start exploring this strange new world. It's the perfect playground for me. After all, what heroic spirit knows adventuring better than me? I've even been to the moon! Well, that was maybe less about adventure than it was about Roland acting like a fool after he got rejected. I've heard about that, but... I'm still not sure if I actually, if it actually happened, or was supposed to be a metaphor. Hold it. Did you think there was only one escort present? Another spirit origin reading! So, you snuck two servants into the ray shift? You'll be lucky to get any bonus at all. Ouch! Ouch! But to make Day unhappy, I'd give up my bonus in a heartbeat! Merci, Monsieur Manuel. I would not be here now if it were not for your courage. Good to see you again, Master. I shall join Astolfo as your escort. I mean, not quite a trap, really, but... Yeah. There is no keener sword for the protection of nobility. And as far as I'm concerned, you are now French royalty. Score. Thus, I shall protect you with my life, on my honor, as a knight of the White Lily. Chevalier Dion, thank you. 
I'm glad to know you'll be accompanying Master. Never mind the stowing away. I kind of feel like that makes it sound like you weren't feeling so good about me accompanying her. I I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. I was just going to look the other way here, since it's never a bad thing to have trustworthy escorts. But if Mashu finds out I let someone get away with bending the rules for my own benefit, she'd never look at me the same way again. Better just keep quiet. At any rate, it's definitely good to know that two capable servants like you are looking out for Master. But in the future, you need to go through the proper channels before you. Wait, I'm picking up hostile entities headed your way. From their movements, you look like wild beasts. I should have known there would be wildfire down there. Or wildlife. <laughs> Part of me is dying to know about this underground ecosystem. But that can wait. Now that you servants are there, there's nothing else to be done. Kill. Astolfo, the crazy cavalryman. With the mystical steed. Mythical steed. Deon, the indecipherable knight of the white lily. You may be complete opposites in behavior, but you're much alike in character deep down. You know what you need to do, yes? Orgy? Yeah! No. Of course, I'll take these things out lickety-split. And then Master will say, Oh, Astolfo, I'm so glad you're here with me. You're the only one I need. Maybe you should change your name to Bestest Foe. Or something like that. <laughs> we, my sword shall shine with all its light. Not that mere beasts will understand its beauty or grace. A little beauty never hurt. Look at you, Sarah. You only just got here, and you are already got two blushing beauties at your beck and call. Actually, if you count myself and Mashu, that would make four. No need to include me in that count. Even though you're blushing. Aw, you're so modest, Mashu. At any rate, just make sure you're not so overcome by our beauty that you neglect your surroundings. Alright, good luck with your first battle in Agartha. Four blushing beauties? No, but without Mashu around... Wait, who's even blushing then? Chimeras. Yay, I chose Astolfo. Yay, Astolfo. And Astolfo's actually decently leveled. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, let's check out this noble phantasm of yours. Deal significant damage to a single enemy. Okay. Perfect. Let's do that shit. Debuff me. Yeah, they're not gonna debuff me right now. So. Show me your moves! It's gonna go into rage mode! Fuck you, Achilles! Die! I'm not Achilles, I swear! <laughs> oh, and she just, she just chomped into him and ripped him apart. She's ferocious. She needs good dental. Oh, that did not do nearly as much as I was hoping, though. Oh, okay, you don't get it on that same turn? I see. Oh. 
This really isn't doing the damage I thought it would. Astolfo, sick him! Sick him! Good boy! Oh, bye bye, Waver. Of course, I've got Shiki! This is what happens when you mess with Shiki. Boom, Shiki, Shiki. You're gonna Brave Chain? Okay, I'll take a look at that. Brave Chain! So who needs that when you've got Shiki? I love Shiki. What is my user ID? Like my friend code? Or my character's name? Uh, yeah, I'll show off my friend code. I don't really have like a shit ton of time to just focus on that, but... 396-216-865 That's 316 That's 396 216 865 Call now to receive your free Estolfo Onaho No, I cannot condone that. Um You know, I, I'd rather just take Merlin along. He's gonna make life very easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll just fuck them all up this way. Hostiles eliminated. Well done, everyone. That was easy peasy lemon squeezy. Woo! Astolfo disrupted the enemy's formation while I kept Master safe. Surprisingly well-balanced strategy. However, we are lacking in destructive power since Astolfo's noble phantasm is all bark and no bite. We may need someone... At the, at the vanguard with more power, maybe? Sansom? No, he is a gentleman, and thus best set against people, not beasts. The queen and I are the same type of servants. Amadeus? No, absolutely not. Quit thinking of your servants. I got mine. We better decide what to do next. I couldn't agree more, senpai. You better let me know what your character name is so I know who you are as opposed to the others. Same. First, I'd like to hear more about about your surroundings. Tell us everything you can see and hear. We are analyzing your video feed, of course, but it's helpful for you to give us your impressions as well. Got it. Well, uh, first of all... Hmm, so the ceiling is very high up and appears to be made of stone. The floor is covered in plants, just like above ground. And the terrain ranges from hills and forests to rivers. That all seems to match our initial evaluations of the topography, however... Right, never mind how odd all this topography... This is topo topographically speaking. <laughs> Sarah's impression of it doesn't add up either. It's almost like a mosaic. This reminds me of, um, Don Machi as you get lower in and it's still bright light. Various features and environs are combined in ways you'd not expect to see in a single landmass. It's as if a bunch of authors got together to all write one combined anthology of Agartha. You think? I don't know. I'm an adventuring expert and I've seen lots of weird stuff on the surface too. In any case, this world's topography is not so important as our mission. We are here to find the Demon God Pillar, correct? That's right, however, its signal has been become muddled since Master's arrival. We're still fairly certain it's somewhere here in Agartha, but I'm afraid we can't narrow it down more than right now. 
Essentially, our readings on Agartha are oddly blurred and, un uh, and undefined. Like in the results of our topographical investigation. That's just one example, though. All the data we're collecting about Agartha will sometimes just shift to entirely different values with no continuity. Bullshit. And yet, with things in your immediate vicinity, Sarah, the continuity appears to be perfectly stable. In other words, the closer you are to the observation target, the more accurate our results will be. Which means we have no choice but to have you continue investigating on foot. You think there are other people here? It's hard to be certain with how erratic things are. As I mentioned, but we're picking up what appear to be artificial structures in the area. So, I wouldn't rule out the possibility of people nearby. In that case, we should head for an area where we can get reliable data, and use that as our base of operations while... Okay, Master, let's start by heading somewhere with lots of people. Don't worry, adventuring will get us there. Piece of cake. Hmm, this way. Uh, uh, Stolfo, wait! Huh, I thought he disappeared over that hill. He certainly came back quickly. Wait, what's this signal? Ah, it's not my fault, honest. They were already headed here when I spotted them. More beasts, hmm? It would appear we missed a few earlier. Although it seems as though they're running away from something that frightened them. Dum ba bum 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 bum. We got a lot of boars. Got a lot of boars. That's a bad piggy piggy. She works hard for the piggy. <laughs> so hard for the piggy. One up. So hard for the piggy, so you better treat her right. Damn, what is up, piggy? <laughs> I knew there was a big one hidden. Hiding in there somewhere. It's time for you to die. Ready to bite into that boar. But what, what? Oh fuck. Wrong boar. Damn it, I pressed the big boar and it didn't choose him. It didn't choose him, I apologize. I apologize. Now, if only we had an oh shit button. Yeah, that tiny board did not deserve that. Pick the big boar, big boar. Oh, it's because the big boar is in the middle. 
Uh, I, I pressed on the big one. Will you be playing the VR Mashu game? Do you just mean Fate Grand Order VR? Because uh, I would love to play that game, but I'm not going to buy a PlayStation VR even used for like 150 bucks for one game. Not at this juncture. Are you underperforming? I don't want that little boy to fuck me up. No piggy, no piggy, no. Cool, come on. That was bullshit. Gotta bring out the big guns again. The assassin. I always announce my streams, you should never have to wonder. You would just know by checking my community tab on my YouTube channel. If I have a stream, 99% of the time it'll be there unless I'm doing like a impromptu one with a new game that I just got and I'm excited to play it or something. Yes, the community tab for my channel is very, very valuable. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, is it me you're looking for? Oh yeah. Oh, you're still showing that picture? But I fixed it. Okay, let's see where those beasties tracks lead. I wonder if there'll be any people. Trust your instincts. <laughs> Thanks, Master. It's nice to be trusted. Hey, looky looky. That was fast. Isn't that the guy there on the ground over that... That A guy there on the ground over by that boulder? Um, if you re-update your notification settings, it does. Because there's some people who gets it every single day for my uh, waifu wars polls. The beast's tracks continue on past that point. It seems unlikely to be a coincidence. Perhaps this man was unwittingly caught up in their stampede and fled there for shelter. Let's wake him up and find out. Hello, are you alive? Mm. Oh good, he is. Uh, hang on, isn't this guy? Wait, I'm getting a servant reading. Master, that boy is a servant. But, huh? This spirit origin pattern. It's a baby Fergus. 
Hmm? Who are you guys? He still doesn't know how to open his eyes. Just wayward travelers. Yep, we pretty much just got here. How are you doing? You were conked out. I think I'm okay, thank you. Just the fact that you both bothered to ask me tells me you're good people. I'm glad to have met you. I was going to ask if you live down here, but if you're a servant, it means there would be little point in doing so. So instead, let me ask you this. Do you know much about this underground world? No, I don't. All I know is that I was summoned here. I know that I'm a servant, but that's really about all I know. Convenient amnesia for the sake of plot. Did you say underground world? That explains why I can't see the sky. Still, I don't get why a fledging like me would be summoned here in the first place. Are you a fledgling, I mean? I'm afraid so. The whole reason you found me collapsed on the ground like that is because I was helpless against those demonic beasts that came stampeding out of nowhere. I wonder if those were the demonic boars they say every Celtic warrior should fight at least once in their lives. If so, I can die without any regrets now. You will not die until you seek eyes on that nice skach booty. Yes, I am aware that it was dubbed. It looks very fun, except that they make Kerry Walgren say Altria, which makes me gag. Oh, are these friends of yours, druids? Something like that. We're helping those guys out from behind the scenes. Don't worry, you can trust us. Now, let me see the spirit origin pattern for myself. Oh, oh. That is interesting. I can see why Mashu is at a loss. You're all good people, so I believe I can trust you. This unshakable trust, I feel, must come from another different version of me, having met you somewhere before. Maybe? I'm sure of it. I apologize for asking this out of nowhere, but would you mind if I joined you? To be honest, I still have a long way to go to become a full-fledged warrior. I can't promise I'll be of much help, but I can promise I won't get in your way. I believe the way my heart is racing right now means going with you is the right thing for me to do. Of course, I'm aware that the throne won't merit your trust, so it's a good sign of faith. I'll tell you my true name. I'm Fergus McCroick. Of course, there's no way of knowing if that's being said right, because what it looks like it says is never what it needs to be in Celtic. A member of the Ulster Royal Family. Think what's boy. Contact. Ooh, ooh. Me thinks I'm gonna bring Ama Musashi. We be fighting lancers and you gotta die. Uh-oh. Yeah, if Maeve met that. Oh, boy. So that's the other me you all know is like. I can't believe it. A brave and earnest man best described as simple-minded and chaotic. And on top of that, he's both a warrior who fights like a demon and a relentless womanizer? Hardly sounds like you. Do you think so, Master? I can kind of see the resemblance. This boy's a Shota in the making. <laughs> I understand how you feel, but our data doesn't lie. He is without a doubt. Fergus McCroick. One of the other servants who went missing from Caldea. That said, we have no idea how he ended up like that. I'm not surprised. I don't know either. Still, I'm glad to know I really did meet you all before. Even if it wasn't the same me. That said, I don't understand why I was summoned. I mean, I'm still just in training. Hello, Scarlet Blade. Thank you.
They're trying to block out the word thought. Shame on you, Twitter. Twitch, sorry. I always mix them up. Do you like women? Where did that come from? Well, I certainly don't dislike them. It's just I, I never know what to do around them. Personally, I'd rather train than talk to girls. Training is nice. It helps me turn off my brain and forget about all the trouble my brothers cause. I really like that it's so straightforward. What's more, I can see it results its results for myself. Just wait until you taste that skah booty and you'll be changing your mind. Do you enjoy training? Of course. I train to become a great warrior every day. That has nothing to do with me being royalty. Any Celtic man would do the same. Never mind what a long way I go to go I still have. Hey, hear that? Fergus, not knowing what to do around girls. Indeed, it's quite shocking. I would never have expected him to be this way. At least they both share their fondness for training. I knew he couldn't have become the skilled swordsman he is. On natural talent alone, he must have put a lot of hard work during his youth as well. Maybe some goddess did this to him. Parts of him are similar to the Fergus we know, but a fair amount is entirely different. It's such a strange feeling, to be honest. I'm still not sure how to feel. I'm not even sure if it's okay for me to be surprised or not. It's a bit like running into an old friend who's changed so much you barely recognize them. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's so different from one you were experiencing that you don't know how to react. That's rich coming from you. That does sound more like a reaction you'd provoke than one you'd experience yourself, Da Vinci. By the way, do you know Maeve and Kuchalan? I feel like I've heard those names before, but I can't picture them. It feels like my memories are all hazy. There must be some things that the Fergus you're all familiar with knows that I don't. I'm sorry to be such a disappointment. For what it's worth, I can promise I'll do my best to improve and learn everything I can. So, spurred on by his indignation at his own immaturity, he trains to overcome his own weakness. Yep, sounds like Fergus. So it seems this is essentially Fergus's past, younger self, both physically and in terms of his memories. Yuki Suzaku, thank you! But, at much as his appearance, personality, and stats may be different, he is still the same Fergus McRoic we know. So don't worry, it's safe to trust him, that said. I do wonder why he's manifested like this. Whoever it was must have gone out of their way to summon him from Caldea before reverting him to his younger self. I am streaming via phone. Da Vinci, you do the brain stuff. We'll keep adventuring. Um, yes. That's a good idea. I'll admit, I am not a fan of the Gina Koganesha. I do wonder what's going on with Fergus, but our main goal is to explore Agartha. Our exploration may lead us to some explanations about what's happened to him, after all. Exploring this world, huh? That sounds great to me. I also think my being here probably has something to do with the abnormality that Sarah is looking into. In which case, I believe it's my duty to help resolve it. I wouldn't be surprised if someone made like a Shota Yaoi Dojin of Kid Fergus and um, Alexander. can see that the two of you are both beautiful and brilliant warriors. <laughs> I'm afraid I won't be any help in combat at all compared to you two, but I do have confidence in my stamina. I can fuck for hours if you need me to. Ah, this must be the super stamina I've heard about. I guess that Fergus must have had this going for him even as a kid. Our Fergus always says he uses that stamina to keep going all night long. Keep going all night. I thought nighttime was for sleeping. Is that a riddle of some kind? If there's a better way to use my stamina at night, 
I'd love for you to teach it to me. Dojin material. Woo! Except the Stolfo's not gay. Ah, don't look at me like that. I can't pay off this awesome setup when you're so innocent like that. At any rate, we may be on an expedition of sorts, but we have yet to find a clue of any kind. Stolfo's instincts worked in our favor, as it was thanks to him that we found Fergus the hero. Fergus the hero. I don't deserve such an honor, especially from one such as beautiful as you. May I ask your name? Please call me Dion. Delighted to have you with us. At any rate, we know now that an adventurer's intuition is not to be discovered, or sorry, discounted, when exploring dangerous new territory. So let's not run around wasting our time. For the moment, I suggest we follow Estolfo. Hmm, what's that? Another generic enemy. Oh, did we find the camp already? See? I knew we'd find something here. It's a town, or rather, a campsite. Might as well go in. Just like that? There's no telling what you might find here. Please be careful, senpai. <gasps> Hey, it's a person! Hiya! <clears throat> Are you insane? Mashu just told us to be careful. With all my experience as a spy, there was never a case where running up to someone you've never met to say hello would be wise. Hmm. Oh, come on. Being friendly never hurt anyone. You know, she is kind of staring pretty hard at us, huh? Yes, yes she is. I can't really see much from here. I wonder why she's wearing such revealing clothing. Says the kid with an exposed midriff. A man? What? Did you say a man? A man? A man? A man? A man? Mine? 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 Um... Who's level 31? Your servants or your master? And if so, that does sound remarkably low. It all depends on the servants, though. It looks like they're expecting around 80 level servants, at least. There's more of them coming out of the tents. A man? A man? A stray man? That's, a That's kind of a weird thing to say. Look out! They're arming themselves and preparing to attack! Damn! It seems we have no choice but to fight. Fergus, take care of Master. I should be able to hold my own against these opponents, but... I'm afraid I can't use my sword against women. But don't worry, I can still make certain to keep Sarah safe. Can't use your sword against women? Is that a Celtic Gash? Not at all, it's my own. Very personal problem. I'm worried about inadvertently harming them. Still, I should be able to defect their attacks. Deflect. So I can at least protect Sarah. Oh, so you don't know how to handle them, right? No problem, Dayon. I got this. Go, go, Stolfo. Whoa, whoa. Hey, baby. Want a mango? Fight for your right to Amazon.com. Buy now. I'm always so tired. That's it? Just you three? Hmm. Well, this is a significantly easier battle than the, the thing. You guys are going down.
Well, if you're playing Agartha, that must mean you got through all the bosses up till now, so you should be fine. <sighs> Forgive me, YouTube tried to demonetize my freaking uh, Empezilia video last night, and so I didn't get quite as much sleep as I would have hoped. And now you are dead! <laughs> you die! You die! I'm surprised that Buster didn't kill him. Holy shit. You're a tough one. But you're lower level than the others. I don't get it. Not at all. No. Well, I don't think you can go to this singularity anyway, so after you... <laughs> Solomon's Temple of Time. Finish! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No sign of hostile reinforcements, the battle is over. Given those women's fighting style, clothing, equipment, and determination to fight to the last, they must be Amazons. You might have seen them before in other places. The ones with the feathers, yes. If these women really are Amazons, then we fought them many times before. Alone, they aren't much of a threat, but in a group, well... Man, why didn't they just surrender? I wanted to hear what they had to say. That was incredible. You completely dominated your opponents through sheer skill rather than brute force. Winning like that takes a lot of patience. I'm especially impressed that you were able to do so against female warriors. This is not a limited event, it's the next story section. So it will remain as part of what you can play for, I guess, the entirety of the game's run. Personally, I couldn't contain my surprise at seeing women fight with such ferocity. I don't understand. Don't the Celts have female warriors as well? I seem to recall one in particular who was especially terrifying. Well, I have heard that there are lots of strong female warriors in the area surrounding Ulster, but I've never met one, never even met one, let alone fought one. I guess he hasn't met Skaha yet. Woo! That's why I'm still not used to wielding my sword against women. I guess it's hard for me to see them as enemies. Whenever I try, it's like my arms freeze up. Hmm, oh well. Maybe that's just something that happens when you're young. Anywho, since you don't have any trouble on defense, I think we'll make you Master's full-time projector. As for attacking female enemies, eh, you gotta get used to it. Don't worry, it'll work out. Thank you, I'm sorry for the trouble. Now then, we, have may not, we may not have been able to get any information out of the Amazons themselves, but we do know more after investigating this camp. From one thing, it appears that this was a hunting outpost. And those beasts we encountered on the plane earlier must have been running away from them. Oh, now I see. I guess they must have been hunting for food? Definitely, yes. We have yet to see anything like a farm so far. They must primarily hunt for food. Wow, I could barely defeat just one of those boars, but they were going to hunt them? They really are fearsome warriors. Furthermore, it seems they've been ta uh, taking their game somewhere else after making the kill. You can tell from the wagon tracks heading away and down the road. And where do you think that road leads? Our next destination. Yeah, I don't see much point in just going on a nature walk. Heading there, or uh, heading where there are people, is a better way to get answers. We need more information on this world, and the demon god pillar. What's more, if there are other servants like Fergus here who have disappeared from Caldea, we might be able to get information from them too. Oh, oh. Wow, that's some pretty snazzy footwork for such a little guy. It's not over yet, though. Check this out. 
Uh, I suppose we'd best think of them as advanced reconnaissance team. In the meantime, Master, let's stay alert and continue on our way. I agree. It's good to have Astolfo taking the initiative. But I'm also glad that someone as cautious as you is there, uh, too, Dion. Anyway, please be careful, Senpai. We still don't know why the Amazons attacked you without warning. Likewise, we don't know if you'll find any other kinds of people up ahead. Or simply more Amazons. After all, we still know almost nothing about Agartha. Gotta be careful, 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 yeah. For that matter, I'm still wondering what that one Amazon meant when she called Fergus a stray man. What about the stray man? Learning with manga is is very fun. At the Amazon village, we're gonna fight some more Amazons. Sounds good to me. It was supposed to be the Sonic X theme. <laughs> Gotta go faster, faster. Well, the, the crappy localized version, yeah. But I love the traditional Sonic theme more. It really is a town. Blue Streak speeds by. Sonic the Hedgehog. Too fast for the naked eye. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic, he can really move. Sonic, he's got an attitude. Sonic, he's the fastest thing alive. Okay. Master, keep your head down before they see us. Hurry up! You really are good for nothing scum, aren't you? Uh, I'm sorry, please, no more lashes! Don't you dare tell me what to do! You belong to me! You're in no position to talk back or make requests! Uh, I'm, I'm sorry! Please forgive me, mistress! <laughs> Pitiful. It must be hard keeping such useless livestock, huh? Yes, mistress, me. I understand very well that I'm only to do what I'm told and nothing more. Take that! And that! Hmm. The whip is fine and all, but there's nothing like punishing the little beast by hand. I can't get enough of... Uh, damn, looks like I killed him. Well, no matter. I'll just get another spare out of the cage. I'll need a sturdier one for next time. What's going on here? It's a town of nothing but Amazons, treating the men like livestock. Uh, yeah, the only people walking around freely are Amazons. The men are all being dragged around in chains. They're prisoners or something. I've never seen women so strong and fearsome before, and it looks like they control the whole village. Now I finally understand what that one Amazon meant by stray man. It seems they've taken the men here as property. That must be why it was so surprising for them to be to see one walking around of its own volition. His own volition. Aha! So that's why they panicked and attacked you when they saw Fergus. I mean, I can only guess whether it was the sort of concern they'd have about seeing a dangerous wild animal out of its cage. Or if they were hoping to slap some chains on him and bring him back here for whatever this is. I doubt they saw me as anything like a wild beast. Sad as it may be, I can't imagine myself being capable of harming them. <laughs> That's funny. The Fergus we know would be awfully excited to face Amazons. He'd probably just say something like, Every woman is beautiful in her own way. Is there a problem? I see. So this other me wouldn't even flinch in this situation. I admire his fortitude. I hope I can be like that one day. I wonder what we would take. Grow up. Puberty. Puberty is what it would take, boy. Puberty and, uh, Skahak giving you a thigh job. I guess it all comes down to my daily training regimen. Maybe if I double the number of Celtic push-ups. Oh. I'll be right back. Welcome. I'm about to leave the pen, and I got 
daughter on my first 10 roll. Oh, you're uh, streaming? Yep. But it's a open one, not using my avatar, so we can just chat a lot. At any rate, it's abundantly clear that we cannot blend into this environment. Ordinarily, Amazons may not pose much of a threat, but with these numbers, matters are different. We should make our way out of here for now, before anyone... What the? Hey, this man isn't in chains! Ah, they found us! Has another wild man fallen from the sky? No, wait. Look at how the others with him are dressed. They could be scouts, be careful. Scouts? Damn, they just keep coming. There really is no worse scenario for a spy on an infiltration mission to end up in. If one of my subordinates or colleagues ever asked me what to do, if they found themselves in this situation, I would tell them to shout, Vive la France! at the top of their lungs and swallow their cyanide capsule. Oh shit. Hey, they know it's, oh, Miku knows it's you. Hey, we're not spies right now. We're Sarah's proud servants. We can take him. We can take a town full of Amazons with our eyes closed. But of course, that much goes without saying. Fergus, you stick to keeping Master safe again. Okay, sorry I can't be of more help. Come on, let's do this thing. If we lose, it's curtains. I mean, chains for all of us. In Astolfo's case, he might have to prove it, but... What? You're a man! <laughs> oh god, Astolfo. Of course, knowing me, I'd bet it'd look super good in chains. But let's not find out. I think we need a doujin. Um, hello, girl. Do you want to go this way? Want to eco? Can I eco? Good girl, you're so smart. How far are you in? Me? Yeah. I, just, I just finished the pen fight, so just slightly ahead of you. Mm -hmm. um, I skipped the story, so can I get a brief recap? Yeah, this is a Gartha uh, place under the earth. We don't know why yet. But that's pretty much it. Um, and there's Amazons and dudes falling from the sky. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but everything we're doing is in an underground area, and we're investigating it, of course, because of another stupid demon god pillar, which is typical. When I was a kid, I loved both Sonic ones. I actually liked the bright and colorful one a bit more than the serious, dark-toned story. But now it's the opposite. Of course, the best Sonic stuff is from, like, Sonic CD and uh, Sonic the Hedgehog the movie, not the live action, the animated one. Plus, my Penthesilia lore pretty much sums up this entire singularity, which is nifty. It doesn't focus on why Sherazad is so, uh, doing the things she do. That's what I looked up. Then again, I can still... Apparently people just go like, oh, you did it wrong. I'm like, well, I don't know. It sounded right. I looked everything up. What is she, like, from? 1001 Nights, or Arabian Nights. She's a character in it. And her noble phantasm is creating story worlds. Like a reality model? Kind of. Like a big in. You could argue that's what we're in. I don't know what the Amazons would do with the stuff, though. If they're if they're being if they're being accurate once they find out, then they would treat 
treat him like all the other dudes. Astolfo? Wait, are you talking of... I really got out of who's better in the bedroom than in battle. Yeah, are you talking about Astolfo? As far as I know, he identifies as a he, although he does joke about it. <laughs> I don't know. It's not a big deal. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Just because it looked like a nice three Merlins in a row. I know how it's spelled. I know, I think he's telling us who's better in the bedroom than in battle. Oh, sure. Oh. Well, I think. Yeah. I forgot. I don't know her story yet. But from what Ari chan was telling me, it's quite tragic. I didn't finish the game then. Of Onigashima? Well, did you get, I mean, last time you got a uh, full Kintoki, right? Yeah. Yeah, this time I had to make up for my mistake. I don't know what was going on last year when I was doing it, but I just did not have, it, it was it was a grindy mofo. Were you, weren't you in Japan? No, I was doing uh, the Ibaraki stuff in Japan. Ah. It's right around then, though. Um... Maybe I should pit Pent against Pent. My level 80 Amazon! There was an Amazon ad you, on my Max video. Um, not quite. Oh. She's level 80 and she I think she's at level 7 for all her skills. Um, the only reason I got stopped is from a lack of CP and a brand new material. Oh, the godly wine or something? Yeah, it looks just like that. Ryder Ishtar's gonna need some of that, so I'm gonna grind. Well, that takes care of that. Ugh. You still have hostels in your area. Please stay alert and... W wait, this reading. There she is. What is all this commotion? You... Your Majesty. Majesty is in Queen? And her aura... A servant? Senpai, that woman there is a servant. Your Majesty, I... Enough. I am no fool. I can see for myself that more rabble have come to taint our bravery, our honor. You there, who are you? I'm Sarah. Oh-ho. I applaud your candor. Then, I would have you tell me who sent you here and where you came from. The... The decadent water city? The dazzling city of trash? Or are you with that band of stray dogs that have been yapping so ceaselessly as of late? Dude, fucking Christopher Columbus is a nutcase. Oh yeah, he is in the singularity, isn't he? Mm-hmm. You dare refuse to answer a queen? Oh boy, she just did a backflip off the handle. She seems a little young to be a queen, but she's certainly imposing enough. She's clearly accustomed to standing above others and issuing commands. She's nothing like my queen, though. So this is a queen. She may not look the part, but even a young oaf like me can sense her regal bearing. Don't look the part? Of course not. That is precisely why I appear this way. Basically, she's pissed that... She was in her peak physique when Achilles killed her and thought that she was beautiful. And so she's really pissed. She's like... Beautiful, fuck you, I'm a warrior. And so that's why she wants to kill Achilles. Oh, so they watered it down. She, in, well, for her case, she she intentionally had herself summoned at a younger state, which is weird. So, well, in she, actual she, lore, you know what happens to Pen's body, right? Um, In one of the versions, yeah, which is unfortunate. And that's what I put in my lore. Ah. Also, we get Valkyrie in the first Lost Belt. Gets a broken neck from her abs. What? 
How'd you get a broken neck from that? <laughs> uh, I'm curious. No matter. Who you are is of no consequence. My task remains the same. You must pay for this humiliation. You will pay for this humiliation. You rabble are impudent but fortunate, and yet so unterribly, oh, and so terribly unlucky. Rejoice, for I shall show you your place with my own hands. You can regale Hades with the tale of your bravery once I have sent you to the underworld. What? The enemy servant is about to attack. Watch out for the Amazons she's brought with her, too. So many Amazons. So many abs. Have you seen anything from Lost Belt 4? Uh, is that the newest thing they've announced? Yep. Yeah. We got a serpent that looks just like Okita Alter, and I'm not a huge fan of Jinnacle, but... I really love Karna's new skin, and I actually kind of like what to do. I chose the wrong thing. We say her other classes, but do we ever... I don't... Do we get other classes of Penthesilia? Or are we just talking that she could be those classes? Because if that's the case, then yeah, they, they talk a lot in her lore saying technically she could be any one of those if she weren't so pure. Summer Pentland. She's already pretty much where it's <laughs> It's like Ushi. I'm like, they're both part of the one Warriors come to variants. So I'd be like, nah, I don't know if I have to roll for this. See that Nessa video I made? It's like, EK views. Not very. Yeah, I made it in the midst of E3. Oh, right, I forgot you've got... I got, I got to break you! Oh boy, another AoE... Oh wait, a quick AoE saver. Honk. Quick hmm. honk. Yeah, I got enough AoE saver. I did not know that. Damn it. Too late. Can't back button a skill. I think it's silly that we're getting this 4k bond for a single mission. Hmm. <laughs> She's not quite as strong as I would hope, even I buffed the flying fuck out of her to buff her everything. What are her skills? She got a buster up, she got an attack up, and she's got a NP gain per turn. Huh. Is her noble phantasm single target? Yep. Mm. Like Musashi is way the hell better. Well, let's see how she does with some crit. Oh, smacking each other. God, I love Jack the Ripper. Yeah. I love me some wallies. <laughs> the context, Nick. I mean, the actual scene that they want on the floor. I She's single. Oh, I do have some shoes. Shiki's not single, single. Yeah, but she's, like, she's single target. My 
I just realized we have no MP gauge. Yeah, that really threw me off. I mean, I'll take it. Oh. You just had to break one HP. Block. Are any of your casters good? You have Medea, Mozart, Nito Kreis, Geronimo, Hans, Caster Koo, Mephisto, and Charles Babbage. I don't use any, except Nito Kreis. I don't think she's a very good servant as much as I like her. Listen, listen, Hans is a meme machine. Yeah. Yeah, Hans sounds like he could be the best if you know how to use him right. I that hate. A lovely sound. I, I will never use Mephistopheles. Unless I am forced to. I'd sooner toss him into a pit of acid. He's too creepy. Let's compare that to my Mustaches. I get a guy who watches my streams or used to, and he's like complaining about how I play the game. And I'm like, it works. How I'm happy. Not? Does he complain that you're not meta? Possibly. Even though I can do meta if I feel like it. It just depends on the circumstance and what I need to get the damage I need in the circumstance. What a vicious weapon! All we can do is try to avoid it. Master, I've determined her class. She's a berserker. Oh, really? Makes sense, given how ridiculously powerful she is. No fair. She can talk properly, but I guess there are other, lots of other berserkers like that back in Caldea. Up to this very moment, I thought you know more than immature halfwits. You should be proud to have survived this long against me, heroes. Your bravery and prowess are commendable. With the exception of that craven weakling who refused to even defend himself. Uh huh? Says Fergus. <laughs> Lolly Fergus? Yes. Old Shota Fergus, but yeah. Don't worry, Fergus. You made the right choice. I'm sorry to say that as you are now, you would not stand a chance against her. Now speak plainly, Berserker. Do you wish to insult us or compliment us? Say whatever you want, but I have always been a proud heroic spirit. Yeah, I may be immature. But you better believe we're all we've all got what she's got the oh we've all got the brave hero thing going on. I was expecting something more grammatical. Okay. I'm Astolfo, one of the twelve paladins of Charlemagne. Wait, what's the difference between a paladin and a hero again? You are indeed strong, that much we approve of. I've changed my mind. You shall no longer pay for your humiliation with your lives. Instead, we shall take you as slaves. As in throw us in cages? Of course, the men among you in particular should serve us well by providing us with strong offspring. <gasps> Says Mashu. <laughs> oh, Mashu. You speak as though the men are more than tool are no more than tools for reproduction. Of course, fool. I speak of them that way because that is exactly what they will be. Naturally, your cooperation is not a factor. You will be told where to go, what to do, and you will be made to obey one way or the other. Sheesh, talk about living up to an Amazonian cliché. Sarah, now that we know what the enemy is up to, you should make a temporary retreat. Even if they don't mean to kill you now, you really don't want them catching you. Yeah, but what exactly are we supposed to do? There are a great number of foot soldiers here, and more coming as we speak. We've got to come up with a plan! You have no chance. Your only choice now is to accept your fates and submit to our control, or... Your Majesty! What is it? Can you not see that I'm busy? It's him! He just appeared in the neighboring town! I see, that means... then... I'll kill him! Kill him, kill him, kill him! Kill him! That's too many kill him. At last, I'll kill him! I'll finally kill him without fail! Again and again, I'll smash him, crush him, squash him! Put him in a stew and strangle him! I'll rip him apart! <laughs> 
Let's go, you'll see. I'm coming to kill you now. Now, now! Bye bye. Your, your majesty, wait. What do we do about them? Damn it, half of you go with the queen. The other half stay and capture them. Well, that escalated quickly. She just went full berserker and ran off. What's going on? I don't know, but we have far fewer he uh, foes to deal with and no servant. Now's our chance. I'll do everything I can to help you out. Please make it through this, everyone. Grate some cheese for your sandwich? What? Uh, what? Is that supposed to be an innuendo? I don't know. Wait, I think you want to be enslaved by the Well, yes, but I don't know about the whole thing about the grading cheese. <laughs> don't understand. Tsumaran. Oh, Abso Chiseled, you could grate cheese. Now I get it. Noble Phantasm, you boy! Goodbye. A sad saddle. I'm trying to, yeah, I don't know about Yuri with them. I don't know what his sexual preferences would be. Yeah, certainly. Not enough pictures of Lubu anywhere on the internet. I could scour to fill the amount that would require the lore, so I use Dynasty Warriors. Because <laughs> that's it's pretty good art, and it's unassuming about him, which works. But it's like, plus, we don't have any actual look at what Lubu looked like before he was a berserker. <laughs> so that's one good way to separate it. Plus, Fate didn't bother drawing Diao Chan, and she's. I love her Dynasty Warriors design, so it's an excuse to show that off. My bonds are always behind. I feel like FGO already has Muda Masa made, but they're just waiting until they're struggling really badly and like not even a singularity. Oh, then they're gonna release them and then they're gonna get back to number one again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the lost belt definitely helping out. Oh no, they were in like 60 something in place and then they released lost belt four and they're back to number one again. <laughs> That's all I have to do. It's good for my prospects. I like fate. It must survive. Though I do want them to like give everyone animation updates and do fancier things. They're kind of lacking in that. But... So, but, but, but...
Well, they're not super tough, but there's a crap load of them. Even though the... Oh, even though half left. Please keep going, Astolfo. You're almost in the clear. Damn, I just can't bring myself to slay a woman. That said, I might be the king of Ulster someday. I refuse to be branded a coward or weakling. I'll never give up. I'll keep on training and I'll keep making progress no matter what. Aha! I thought I heard someone talking sense. I'm picking up a new reading in your vicinity. Please be on your guard, master. What's that sound? Don't worry, men. We outnumber them. Attack! Yeah. It's the resistance. Of all times for them to show up. You guys still alive? If you are, then don't give up. As long as you don't, most things will work out in some form or another. But yeah, no, he's fucking insane. Like, I think his noble fan does, and he just has, like, the creepiest face ever. Did her HP recover? I don't think it did. I didn't have anybody's skills on that would have done that. Um, if it were Merlin's Noble Phantasm that came first, then yes, but... Yeah. So, uh, I guess this is the cavalry or something? We don't have time to fret. Master, we should cooperate with these men and take down the remaining Amazons. Finally. Confirmed. The battle is now over. The threat that the Amazon po uh, Amazons posed appears to have been neutralized. Of course, there's now the matter of this mysterious group of men. Hmm. That sounded like the voice of a pretty young girl to me. Long-range transmission, is it? Huh. Handy. Who are you guys? An Amazon referred to you as the Resistance. We never set out a... Uh, to call ourselves that, but if that's what they're calling us, I guess that's what we are. Look, Master, they're freeing the imprisoned men. So you're fighting back against the Amazons? It's not just them. This whole place has become extremely unfriendly to men in general. If we're fighting it back against anything, I guess it's the very status quo of this land. The current political climate <laughs> has vilified our straight white men. <laughs> it seems we may have finally met someone who can tell us more about what's going on here. Master, I suggest we start by asking this man some questions. Fine by me, but let's change venues first. Neutral zone or not, this is still Amazon territory. We'd best escape before that terrifying queen of theirs shows. Besides, we need to tend to the men we just freed. Come on, let's head back to our hideout. Hideout, huh? I like the sound of that. Me too, I must admit. I love that it sounds like a place filled with meat and liquor. Says the little boy. Very well then. We'll be glad to take you up on your invitation. But before we do, I have to make sure. You're a servant too, right? Yeah, writer. All I know is that I was somehow summoned here. I'm afraid I can't tell you my true name. Christopher Columbus. It's alright. I understand why you're wary of us, since we've only just met. Oh no, it's not that at all. I mean, I can't. I really can't tell you what it is. For some reason, I don't have a single memory of my life. <gasps> Naturally, I can't use my noble phantasm either. All I know is my class. So go ahead and call me Ryder. Ryder of the Resistance, if you like. That'll do for now. That'll do, don't care. Do. Give me that, Quartz! Glad I can save it up for all the summer stuff. I want to get Ruler Martha, who I missed before, and, um... I don't know, which, which summer ones are we getting? Uh, I can look it up, or chat will tell us. Is this the year we get the maid swimsuit? Yes. I'd probably roll for that.
Hmm, we're fighting riders. Then we also get swimsuit Uma. Yeah. Do you not like swimsuit Uma? I don't dislike her. I just have so many fucking sabers. Uh, what is, is she still a saber? That's a swimsuit Uma. No, she's caster. That's so weird. Okay. Um. Maybe I'll do that then, cause whatever. But I'll focus on. I don't know if we're gonna get like the summer rerun first or what. I just forget we always get a sermon for anniversary events. JP's anniversary events coming up. So it's either gonna be Lolly Mona Lisa or Mona Masa. I'm gonna bring a Loli into battle. I'm a responsible parent. Summer Maeve. She's Zite. Regular Maeve. In her final form is just as hot. Foo -foo! Whoa, what is this place? One minute we're in an endless, narrow cave, and the next. Paradise! What a beautiful place. It's so evocative of spring. And the smell. Are those peaches? It's not like the utopia described in the e old e Oh, it. It's like the utopia described in the old eastern legends. I guess, the one described in the record of the peach blossom, written by the poet Tao Yuanming, around the 5th century. An old Chinese story about a hunter who goes through a hole he finds in a mountain. On the other side, he discovers an ethereal paradise. Call this place whatever you like, what's important is that this is our hideout. It's in a valley surrounded by rocky cliffs and all far sides, undiscoverable from the outside. We're doing a cherry blossom thing tomorrow. We are. Well, assuming the weather's not Shit. garbage. Yeah. The walls are pretty much impossible to climb, and the only way in or out is that cave we just went through. We were very lucky to ha just happen across it. It's the perfect place for our hideout. Hi, Ryder. I heard the last operation was a huge success. I don't know if I'd go that far, but we did all right. Come on, you freed all the men in that town, right? How's that not a success? Haven't we gone over this before? It's all about the war, not the battle. Modest victories are certainly good enough for me. What matters is what we keep moving forward, even if it's just one small step at a time. Oh yeah, and there's also Fran, that's right. That's too many of them. Ah oh, yes, Captain Nemo too. So that's three potential servants we're getting for the anniversary event. Which anniversary event? Is that JP? Yep. Ah. Uh, Captain Nemo makes sense. I think we're getting Sherlock this year? We are? Yeah. How soon? <laughs> I hope Ari's saved. I'm telling her to. Is she compulsively rolling? I don't know. I'll have to ask her how she's doing, because we, we're getting a... They, they've been giving us a lot of quartz, which is nice. Don't worry, we can roast her when she gets here. That is how you can always be sure to get where you're going. Yes, sir. But I still want you to take me along to the next battle. I promise I... I promise to do my best. Ha! <laughs> All in good time. I see you're greatly admired. I feel like you gave some really good advice, too. I'm just doing what comes naturally, amnesiac that I am. Just don't read too much in it, uh, into it, that said. I've got a soft spot for enthusiastic youngsters like that. They really do shine brilliantly when they put their minds to something. But I digress. Come on into my shack here and I'll tell you what I can. Love shack, baby love shack. Oh god. I don't suppose we could also impose on you for some food. I can keep going for a long while, but when I get hungry, I end up eating everything inside. It doesn't have—it doesn't have to be the best food, just a lot of it. Sure, help yourself to the peaches. For some reason, they grow here all the time, so we never run out. It's gonna give you the squits. You grow sick and tired of having nothing but peaches after a while, but at least we don't have to worry about food here in the resistance. Haha. <laughs> Blackbeard two electric boogaloo. 
So, ray shifting, Caldea, heroic spirits, and mankind, huh? Sounds very important, uh, like very important stuff. Okay, I think I've got a handle on your story now. Peaches are awesome! Yes, they're delicious. They're sweet, juicy, and very filling. We haven't finished the official Heroic Spirits Top 10 Sweets list, so I can't be super certain. But I can say for sure. Way more sure than a certain sly teenage servant, I could say. That these peaches get a solid five stars. Yep. Mmm. Everyone, I understand how you feel, and honestly, I'm a little jealous that I can't have any myself, but please, we need to focus. First of all, we need to go over everything Ryder told us. Agreed. Let's all make sure we're on the same page here. They can listen and eat, I'm sure. Point the first. There's no exit to the surface. None that we've found so far, anyway. Nothing's uh, north, south, east, west, up, down, left, right. Everywhere we've looked, there's been nothing but earth and more earth. No one has found a way out. <laughs> Hey, Ben, welcome. That prompts an obvious question. If there's no way in or out, how did all the Resistance members get here? Everyone looks and dresses so differently, and even seems to be from different eras, so I can't imagine they grew up here. They didn't. Every single one of them I've talked to says pretty much the same thing. They say a hole suddenly opened up underneath them, and the next thing they knew, they were here. Near as I can tell, it sounds like something's abducting them from the surface and sending them here. We've seen men rain down from the sky on a few occasions ourselves. There doesn't seem to be any sort of commo uh, common factor in where they came from, either. They drop in from all over the place as far as we can tell. Perhaps they have some sort of trap that uses a teleportation spell? And that's what's bringing these men to Agartha? But why? What can you tell us about the Amazons? I can't speak to the specifics, but they look to be somewhat like us, like servants. At least in as much as they suddenly appeared down here for some reason. Call it a hunch. So the Amazons most likely wound up here the same way, and have been abducting men from the surface. It feels like there's some sort of connection to be made there, hmm. Oh, hi! You're that boy we saw earlier. What's up? Sorry to interrupt you and your guests, Ryder. Don't worry about it. What's the matter? It's those monsters again. We're doing our best, but there's too many. Can you help? Monsters? Like I told you, it's a valley surrounded by high rocky walls. Nothing can get in here from that ground except through that cave. But some, sometimes winged creatures that fly over those walls can end up wandering in here. Wyverns? I think that's what they are. On that note, I'd better go do some pest control. Would you all mind giving me a hand? I'm, I'd be glad to. I'm only a fledgling, so I may not be of much help, but I'll do whatever I can. I agree. I believe we should all do what we can to put these people in our debt. Let's go, Master. <laughs> Took a run to dimp. What the hell is dimple? Don't worry about wyverns. Just sit your lowly on them. Because luck is on your side. I guess. Gotcha is fucking evil. All we can do is praise it when it works and curse it when it don't. <laughs> oh, hey, guys, you already, already I forgot then, I'm sorry. Yesterday? I finally hit the point where there's way more comments than I can possibly keep track of, which is 
humbling for sure, but it's also unfortunate. I try to get to as many as I can, so if it's through YouTube stuff or things from the Discord, I might miss it. You gotta at me, and hopefully don't at me for every <laughs> tiny little thing. Yeah, FGO tends to use a lot of or reuse a lot of the assets they use. One of you wyverns has got more HP than this. Store HP. Um, I'm not like other wyverns. Uh oh. Bad timing. Sorry. It's a 1 800 number. I'm not going to take that right now. I already got called by uh, the guys I bought the graphics card from, I think. They think they said it was Radeon or something. But it was some Indian guy saying, you know, if I'm interested in a job and if I knew anybody else who would be. I'm like, not right now. I'm not like a I can say the N Which is the white red zone more. Is it the same as everyone else's? Get them! They're not women, but, you know, actually, I don't know that. Do wyverns have a sex? What do you mean more lowly in FGO? She's as lowly as she's ever been, period. From, yeah. Sashi, you are gonna fucking murder them. Three buster crits hiding in her thing. And I can throw a critical rate up, which you do not need in this item. That's funny. She's apparently taller in Apocrypha, but she's also crouching here. So, big problem. She does look pretty damn tiny in comparison here. You're right. And people are still arguing about the whole Tifa's breast. So. People calling me a virgin. No. <laughs> what? Fucker. You're supposed to move on to the other one after I killed you. I just wasted the whole thing. Well, no, I didn't. That thing still had more HP than the crappy average wyverns. Waver, why are you stealing all my cards? It's not your turn. <laughs> But yeah, that sounds fun. I love used game stores and things, especially if they have a good collection. My favorite one I've got is in Boulder. A game store? Yeah. It's called Game Force. You got good shit, and they actually give you moderately decent prices for your trade ins. Which is more than you can say for. Other places. Game, yeah, can't stop. So. Although they did have Bloodstained Ritual of the Night when Best Buy didn't. It's like, what the fuck, man? It just came out and nobody's got it. Of course, I could have just bought it digital, but. I'd like, like uh, Fate Strange Fake Jack the Ripper. Yeah, they got that one. But, uh, FGO's gay. He doesn't want to add any new servants that people actually want. Like who? Like anybody from Fate Strange Fake. Uh, oh, yeah. Perseus. I Proto just want Gil. them to give me a Bazette pseudo. Or a Demi. Demi. Any Tsukihime character. Should it be Gramps, Loli, or 
Demon Lolly. Um, Demon Lolly. She has an AoE. She's probably a lot older than that, but... Lolly Squad! Oops. What is that? Uh, yeah, Tsukihime. That takes care of that. By the way, Ryder, let me ask you this purely in the hopes of jogging your memory. I think Type Moon's afraid, because the moment they release her, they're going to be like, Remake? 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 And they're like, no. <laughs> Even though they said they would, and they were probably just lying at the time to make people happy. Eleven years ago. By the way, Ryder, let me ask you this purely in the hopes of jogging your memory. Have you ever heard the name Leonardo da Vinci before? One of a kind genius, world renowned beauty. Uh, no, sorry, can't say I have. Ouch. I know that's just the amnesia talking, but it's still a bit of a shock. Uh, I'll ask for the hell of it. How about Michelangelo? You haven't heard of him, have you? Sorry, but no. Whew. Well, that makes sense. He may be a good friend, but he's still just an artist. There's no way he could be more famous than a true Renaissance woman like myself. I mean, I already knew him as much, but it never hurts to check. Still, hmm. If he's dressed up like that, but hasn't heard of Mikey, he must have lost. He must really have lost his memory. Then he should go find it. <clears throat> go find what? His memory. Uh oh. Bro, bro, I think you dropped your memory. Oh, thanks, bro. <clears throat> At any rate, based on the way you fight, your equipment, and your outfit. I thought you might have been from my own time. Too bad we never met when you were both alive, huh? Indeed, believe me, I wish I, someone could just tell me who I am. But nothing I can do for now. Just have to take things one day at a time. If you remember everything, let me know. Or anything, let me know. If I learn something about you, I may be able to look you up in our database here in Caldea. An old man with a beard and amnesia, huh? Duh. -huh. Banjo Kazooie and Smash. I know How do you Senpai. Feel about that? I think it makes sense. They were a big part of my N64 library, so. I like I like that idea more than the uh, the Dragon Quest guys because they just look generic as fuck. But... I know, Senpai. I can't help but remember the Archer of Shinjuku earlier. But this writer isn't like him. He's got proper human allies who all look up to him, and he's doing a great job in leading them. Nah, he's gonna betray us or some bullshit. Why am I still anxious about him? Because he's a mad motherfucker. Like seriously, he has like the creepiest face when he goes like nuts. Is it just that Shinjuku's events left so much of an impact on me that I can't help but feel there's more than what, uh, more than what he's telling us? All right, let's get back to the matter at hand. Let me make sure I have all this correct. First of all, you said that there are three primary regions, right? That's right, but it's not quite the whole story. I think I'd better get more specific. There are three major cities here, each of which is in the center of its respective region. Each city is ruled by a different servant, and are at constant war with one another. <gasps> oh, servants, hmm? That leads perfectly into my next question. Do the names Elena Blavatsky or Francis Drake ring any bells? They are servants who may have ended up here themselves. I don't suppose either of them is ruling one of those cities? Sorry, I'm afraid I don't know that either. The ruling servants here keep their true names hidden. I really can't say one way or the other. I see. Figures it wouldn't be that easy. There's still so much we don't know. Are they hiding their true names? Did they forget them like you did? Are they even here in Agartha at all? Returning to the matter at hand. Three are... Uh, there are three powers vying for control over this place. Four, I suppose, if you count those of us in the Resistance. Incidentally, the borders between each servant's territory are not quite clear. That is not counting those of us living in the space between territories. The various powers fight each other daily in an endless cycle of gaining and losing ground. 
So, the queen was... We were fortunate to just miss her, but it seems you had the ill luck to run into her yourselves. It's a wonder you lived to tell the tale, really. She is the queen of the Amazons, the ruler of the Golden City in the Jungle, which is one of the three major cities of Agartha. We call her the Berserker of El Dorado, after the Amazon's capital city. She and her people are the most aggressive of all the major powers down here. And also the most numerous. Yes, we've experienced their aggression firsthand. Peaceful talks had no appeal to them. That's for sure. To be honest, I found them rather frightening. I don't blame you, considering how they started shouting stray man at the moment they caught sight of you. Anyway, who are the other two powers? Yes, we would appreciate a complete overview of the area before we begin dealing with the details. Another of the powers here that resides... Uh, here resides in a... Damn it. A fortress city. So brightly lit at all hours of the day that it's known, colloquially, as the Nightless City. I'm told it's ruled by a fearsome Empress servant, though I've never seen her myself. Another woman. An Empress, huh? The term Nightless City also reminds me of Kabukicho in Tokyo. I wonder what sort of empress she is. The last group resides in the City of Water, located on the bank of the great underworld, uh, underground lake to the east. Word has it that a female servant rules that one as well. Another one? I don't think what I'm going to do again. Oh. I don't know what I'm going to do against so many female opponents. I can't imagine the other Fergus ever saying things like that. <laughs> now it becomes clear. This whole place is dominated by women. It's not just that one, uh, that one Amazonian town. The entire societal structure of Agartha is arranged so that men are oppressed like slaves, no matter where they go. Am I wrong? Nope, you're dead on. That's exactly what the resistance is fighting against. Fuck all these women. Every man that falls down here ends up getting captured and enslaved by the women. Down here, they're treated as no more than pets, laborers, outlets for their own owner's frustrations. They're objectified like no belief, sexualized to hell, or a means of reproduction. They have no freedom at all. <laughs> no one should be treated like that just for being born a certain way. That sort of world just isn't right. I may be a worthless, powerless servant with no memory of my true name or my noble phantasm. But as far as reasons to fight go, that one's enough for me. That was elegant of you, Ryder. Um, except I feel like with FGO, the fans in the East and the West both kind of want the same things. Like, everyone's talking about Tsukihime shit here too, I'm pretty sure the Japanese also would like that. You think? Does that whole Macho Man thing really do it for you, Master? Oh, Astolfo, don't, don't even try to compete. You have your own thing. You sure never looked at me with that kind of admiration. I've looked under your skirt with that admiration. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, anyone seems elegant when it's you they're being compared to, particularly someone with the polar opposite alignment to yours like him. Ah, that's not very nice. So, what will you all do next? Our goal is to find the singularity that we believe is creating this world. And destroy the escaped demon god pillar at the heart of it. At the moment, all we can say for certain is that it's somewhere here in Agartha. So here we are, searching this place on foot, inch by inch. or hoping some unusual signal gets picked up by our equipment. Anyway, if this is anything like the last times... The demon god pillar has probably assimilated the servant acting as the singularity's core. If so, it's most likely fused with one of those three ruling servants. Just have to see for ourselves. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Now let me ask you this. What exactly is the Resistance's ultimate goal? What else? Defeat the rulers of the three cities and free the men enslaved in this world. I see. Our goals align nicely. I agree. And not just because it means I can keep eating more of these delicious peaches. And certainly not because I have a strong desire to train myself to be stronger in combat. 
You're a terrible liar. We might be in a, a few in number, but we're each worth a hundred soldiers. You can totally count on us. Thank you. That will certainly be helpful, since the three major powers greatly outnumber us. So far, our only viable option has been small-scale guerrilla warfare. So we'd be glad to have a powerful, uh, to have a few powerful warriors to bolster our ranks. You got more people to join our cause, Ryder? That's awesome! Hmm? Wait, you've got the wrong idea. I wasn't eavesdropping, I promise. I came to give you a report, and then just happened to overhear your discussion. Oh, right, the report. A bunch of dangerous pests have invaded our hideout and are swarming over our peach trees. Those fuckers. I see. Well, we certainly can't afford to lose our main food supply now, can we? All right, ready to show us what you're made of, friends? We're the super best friends! Woo! You bet. Come on, Master, let's go help them. We can get back to talking after we're done. Crush these bees. So your specific degree calls for it. Yeah. So that was just my appointment for it. It's cool. Cool. And I already got all my immunizations. I got stabbed the other day. I got a TV shot. It's weird. It's like a little bubble on the tongue. Uh. So. Damn it. I'm the wrong foot. She's got AOE, huh? Pretty good. I don't think you can charm the bees, but I'll try. Oh, you can! Look at her! <laughs> I want to seduce some bees. <laughs> like, this is the good chance! Do it. Did the men in black already come out? Anyone? form for this place because she's taking on the role of the storybook character. I'm not a storybook, but a character from a story. Dude! Triple critted the shit out of Musashi. I can't believe you survived that! That's why you get the noble phantasm. It's gonna squash you, bugs. You're wasting noble phantasm on a bug? It's the last fight. Oh. Yeah, there's no big boss at the end of it. Boring little battle. I had 40 people in here watching and I just dropped a 29. Where all these people go? Maybe it's something I said.
whatever. Right, yeah, I just didn't have a chance to answer that in time. Um, you think it would, but... Or you think it, you know, one would think that perhaps it should, but... Do they have any extra lines? Not that I'm aware of. Should I bring Ishtar? Yes. The answer is yes. You always want to bring Ishtar. Make sure it's mine, Ishtar. <sighs> Your stuff is always hard to find. Let's see here. Oh, now, now, now you're at the top. Perfect. I'm ill prepared for this fight. It's all well and good that we earned some rest by joining in the battle to protect this place. But I must admit, the warm light and sweet peach aroma together are making it hard to stay awake. Well, Mashu and Da Vinci said that they needed some time to study the new information we got, so maybe now is a good time for a break. Why don't we take a leisurely walk around... Hmm? What's that sound? Yeah, yeah! It seems Ryder is teaching the men how to fight. Oh, hey, training! Seeing that gets me in the mood to train, too. I wonder if they'd let me join if I sort of wandered their way while doing sets of Celtic jumping jacks. Why is it all Celtic stuff? Do you have, is it a different jumping jack than a jumping jack? Um, I'm pretty sure they'd let you join if you just asked them. Good, that's it. Your swords play is coming along nicely. Thank you, sir. Alright, this next part is very important. Listen up. <coughs> Forget everything I just praised you for. Don't ever let yourself believe you're a great swordsman. Huh? Overconfidence kills on the battlefield. It gets you into battles you cannot win. And I don't want you throwing your life away like that. No matter how much you practice, or how good I say you are, you will eventually find yourself outmatched. When that happens, you need to retreat. Period. So it's really okay if I run away? Of course. I don't know why I know this, but the big secret I learned about war is to keep fighting without ever giving up. Do that and you'll eventually win for sur sure. Huh? Isn't that kind of a contradictory... Ah! Uh, uh. Whoop! That kid just came flying in from another sparring match. His opponent is bigger and stronger, but no matter how much of a beating he takes, he keeps on getting back up. His spirit is admirable, but he's so focused on the match that he's lost sight of everything else. I may be young, but even I know that for a thing or two when it comes to training. It sucks a dick. <laughs> Damn it. Are I can still beat thing? you. I will beat you. And, uh, Columbo's art style. <laughs> Stop that. Ow, Ryder. You could stand to hear this as well. Take a good look at your opponent. He's bigger than you. He's a better fighter than you. He doesn't have a scratch on him. Do you really think you can beat him? <sighs> Charging at an opponent you can't beat will only get you killed. That's not fighting without ever giving up. That's just being bullheaded. Telling an unbeatable opponent that you'll never give up no matter what is foolish. Every shot and ever. <laughs> it's tantamount to giving up on life. And on any chance at victory, the line between bravery and foolishness may be thin but it is there. So listen, no matter what the situation, the key is to keep thinking about how you can win, and to try to act accordingly. That's what you should never give up on. There was some bullshit article that Polygon wrote, trying to bitch about Attack on Titan, being uh, pro-fascist, and spreading hate, like, thought or something. Oh my God. It's like, yeah, they based it on World War II Germany, duh. Like, a lot of the aesthetic is there. And then in the newest part, um, the guy, the, the mangaka, had that part where I guess they're wearing like the armbands like the Jews. And I'm like, yeah, but those people are eventually the ones that 
lead to Eren trying to lead them to liberation, so... That's like, if the Jews, like, armed up and fought the Nazis, <laughs> that's kind of like a good thing, right? <laughs> yes, I did get Penthesilia. When you look at it that way, retreating isn't losing. A draw isn't losing. Hell, losing isn't even losing. As long as you never give up on achieving your goal, it means you're making progress towards it. That is ultimately what matters most. Positive thinking, I like it. It's not quite how Celtic warriors see things, but I can at least understand that position. He's not making them warriors, he's helping them go from civilians to proper soldiers. If you need money, wait until you have enough. If you need people, wait until you have enough. The important thing is to not lose when the odds were against you, and to win when you get the chance. Now then, given all that, what do you think you should say to your opponent? Fuck you! Oh, I'm pretty tired, so I'm gonna call it a day. I'll be sure to beat you tomorrow? Haha, <laughs> you got it, of course. If things look bad tomorrow as well, don't forget to say that again. Hmm, it looks like you hurt your ankle. Well, can't have you putting more strain on it now, can we? Here, I'll give you a lift on my shoulders. This guy is suspiciously nice. Fran is nice, at least story-wise. I don't know if she's any good as a servant. Uh, thank you, sir. Yeah, I get it now, Ryder. The important thing is to never give up, use my head, and stay alive to win. That's it. Just do your best and don't push yourself too hard. Wowie! He just oozes charisma, huh? No wonder everyone looks up to him, even with things so dire. He seems to be an old hand at this. Perhaps he had experience leading men as a general or other military officer back when he was alive. He also seems to know about a lot of things besides combat. Ryder, we tried to kill, uh, till the soil to make a field, but we can't. There's too many big rocks in the ground. What? Are you serious? All right, dig the rocks up. We can use them as ammunition for our slings. Ryder, the men building the new house say they made a mistake in their calculations and they won't have enough material left for the roof. What? Are you serious? No problem, we'll just have to make it a tavern instead. That way you can cook things inside without the smoke filling up the room. And we'll be able to enjoy the peach blossoms while we drink. Ryder, the wind blew the laundry we hung to dry in the mud. Now we don't have any clean shirts. Looks like we're gonna be naked, boys. Actually, that is what he said. <laughs> Everyone will go shirtless to show off his muscles. The winner gets a week's supply of liquor for all for himself. <sighs> we'll make today into a Mr. Agartha competition. <laughs> I don't think they had that back then, but... Does that mean it's training time now? Great! I'm not very good at using my head, but I can definitely help out by using my muscles. Can't unsee Fergus as a pretty boy now. I bet our Fergus was super into working out like this when he was young, too. Oh, you know, I haven't even seen him doing handstand push-ups in the halls- Oh, I've even seen him doing handstand push-ups in the halls of Kid, uh, Caldea. Then he'll get up and do a He-Man pose and a smile real big. Anytime a female servant walks by. I think that last bit isn't so much a part of his training as it is him looking for an entirely different sort of workout. At any rate, Ryder is certainly a master of positive thinking. So it's like Fergus running around Caldea like banging all of your waifu. He really seems like he practices what he preaches, too. Me? I'm not much for the whole blood, sweat, and tears shtick, but maybe it's the, the thing to do here, huh? I believe we can put that down to the difference between a free spirit like you and people fighting for their freedom like the members of the Resistance. Still, in a situation like this, the sort of positive thinking he embodies is quite encouraging. He has that drive, that... Is that je ne sais quoi? Is that how you say it? I don't know French. <laughs> God, it's like a common phrase though, I feel stupid. That every leader needs. I believe this is why even so powerful a force as Amazon's has been unable to quash the resistance. 
Ryder, come quick, we need your help. Now what is it? We were trying to quarry some stone when the rocks started to just move. I think we've accidentally woken up some sleeping monsters. Ah, I see, that's definitely no laughing matter. All right, let's go take care of this. Good, I was just getting tired of this walk. Let's go help Master. I'll come too. This should make for good training. God, this is so, like, redundant. Just let me leave and beat up someone important. Golems in the city. Do do do. They're all Zoikas. If you were, that might not be such a terrible thing. No, those those waifu are for Ritsuka. <laughs> Then again, I don't know who Skyhawk has fucked. She probably would screw a lot of guys hoping she'd catch like an STD and then that would kill her. But it's not gonna work, no matter what she tries. <laughs> did not think of this. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, fate isn't as well written as we thought it was. I don't really care. It's fun. The giant kicking giant? We thought of this friggin'. Go, Ishtar, go! Ishtar can enjoy whatever the fuck she wants. That's what doujinshi exists for. To fill in those gaps on what goes on in Kaldea. <laughs> like, like Ritsuka burning all of their male servants except for Astolfo so that he can watch the rotation of sex. <laughs> Charge up all your servants. Crazy. It's a good doujin. And Mordred's just like, oh my god, what's going on here? The problem with Ishtar is I never know when I feel like unleashing her noble phantasm. So I don't do the, the clocky clock in time. You have to have preemptive knowledge of when you're gonna do it. Well, it's a little different for the Moon Cell. Yeah, she's a more traditional servant, I guess, in that, for the most part. Whereas in FGO, she just kind of got, like, forced to be a servant because the world died around her and she didn't. Normally, these noble phantoms would just like blow them up. Well, yeah, the similarity is getting. Yeah? I mean, not that it's a problem I can deal with, it's just. Wait. You're still alive! <laughs> Triple Ishtar! There's no crit, but... Some crit. Worth <laughs> while, though. Actually, she got one of them. <laughs> she killed the Spriggan Spriggan. 
よし今回も生き残ったわねうどん食べに行くかいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやい I've set up a small resistant camp on the edge of their territory, so we can stop there to resupply. No arguments there, let's do it! Well, if you're all set to attack this water city thing, then it makes sense for us to go there too. By the way, Ryder, the name's El Dorado and Nightless City. For the other two cities, both sound kind of familiar. Does this water city happen to have a name like that as well? Sure does. Did I not mention it before? The city we're headed for is called Ys, the city of water. It's a decadent town that's built on the surface of the Great Lake. Frontline base, headed to east. Fighting more fucking wyverns, I suspect. I'll take an assassin's guy. Yay! This place doesn't get any less weird the more we see of it. We're way underground, but we still got forests and big, open, grassy fields. Not that I'm complaining. This is much better than pitch black darkness. Or lava. Speaking of pitch black darkness, that reminds me. Is there any sense of day and night here? Yes. The ceiling is carpeted in luminescent moss, and its glow changes according to time. So we have a 24 hour day, just like on the surface. Hmm. So that too is almost like it's been designed with humans in mind, huh? While I'm asking questions, here's another one. I know we're heading towards a camp that you built to help facilitate the attack on the Water City. But why did the Resistance choose the city for its first point of attack to begin with? That gets back to topography. Agartha has neither rivers. Oh has a number of rivers, and each one flows into the uh, Great Eastern Lake, where the Water City is. Simply put, you can sail upriver from that lake, and get pretty much anywhere you want to go. And that is exactly what the people of East are doing, using those rivers as a means of travel, with which to attack their enemies and plunder supplies. If we don't do something about them, there's no telling what, uh, where or when they'll strike next. And so they're our highest priority target. No, oh, so they're like tropical river pirates of the high seas. Ugh, everything about that was wrong. To make matters worse, he doesn't even care. So, if we can capture East and take their boats for ourselves, we'll be the ones in control of the rivers. That makes sense. No wonder you chose this for your first point of attack. Right, if we pull this off, it'll give us a significant advantage in the rest of our campaign. The other three powers might have us hopelessly outnumbered, but that doesn't mean we can give up. Giving up is never the answer. That's why we keep moving forward, even if only a little bit at a time. All right, we should reach the camp soon. There it is. It looks just like the Amazon camp. Huh? Is it just me, or does something seem a little hinky here? Uh, please be careful, uh, careful ever while I'm picking up some sort of sound. <laughs> there you are. 
I knew we'd find someone like you, or we'd find you somewhere around here. One's got good posture, and another's got good arms. Not a lot of them, but what's there is pretty good. Go on. Try and escape if you want. It's not like it'll make any difference. Damn it. Don't let them scare you, men. Remember, if we lose here, we go back to being slaves. Yeah, we already decided we weren't going to give up without a fight. Oh. What an idiot. Whether you run away or not, you are going back to being a slave. But you are no use as a slave if you attack us. Shame. That one could have been a decent workhorse. Oh well, I guess it's alright, since there's plenty of others to take his place. You... Ugh. They're slaughtering them. This is horrible. Master. Let us go and save them. Slaves? You curse. You dare murder my comrades before my very eyes? You will pay dearly for that. Huh? Who are you lot? Resistance reinforcements? <laughs> yeah, sure took your sweet time. Hey, check out those two. What do you think? They men or women? If they're women, we'll just kill them off like usual. But if they're men, check out those tight abs. I bet we could have a lot of fun with these two. I love making pretty boys look that squirm. I think I just remembered something. Something from one of my other times I was summoned. Never mind. Not gonna think about it. Oh, poor Astolfo's having, like, a apocrypha PTSD. Whether I am a man or a woman, this will not end as you hope. On that you have my word. There's only so much pleasure and plunder to go around, you know. A girl's gotta get what she wants while she's getting good. Uh, while the getting's good. So have at it, girls. If you want to have your way with them, go for it. If you want to kill them, knock yourselves out. This is our world, and we do what we want. Take whatever you want, whenever you want. That's the only rule we live by. That's the law of the great pri uh, pirate princess, ruler of East. Here they come. Everyone prepare for battle. Don't have to tell me twice. It may not be worth much, but these Cretans stole my allies' dignity. Their crimes are past forgiveness, but they can pay for their lives for a start. I love Apocrypha. Don't be a bully. Dude, his beard is fucking stupid. I just realized how high up it goes. Columbus. All right, female pirates. We're gonna use a uh, knee clad warrior to kick your butt. Man, that bulg is so gay. <laughs> One of these pirates is not like the rest. Y'all don't argue. It's just Fergus. No need to fight over Fergus. 
なん千万台自在感じその気勢を一緒の大テンションHonestly, I think that they just wanted to involve Fergus in for story's sake. I really don't give a crap if Kid Fergus winds up. Yeah. Looks like they ambushed us from a waterway we hadn't discovered. Guess our scouting wasn't sufficient. Ryder. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Delightworks and Type Moon, like, pull people on who they want to have most as servants. And try to, I guess, in some cases, appease them. Are you going to go ahead with the, uh, the operation? Good question. The survivors here and the relief group on the way can take care of this place. The rest of us will keep heading for East. Now that we've reduced their numbers, they'll likely be spread that much thinner at their home base. Well, I mean Fergus in this singularity, not so much America. So we'll take advantage of that to sneak in and eliminate their leader. It's the least I can do to avenge the men who gave their lives here. Got it. We'll join you. Okay, so our destination is still the same. Just no rest. Stop on the way now. Oh, just no rest stop on the way now. That means we'll have to be even more careful. If you plan on infiltrating the city stealthily, my skills should be of some use. We must stay sharp, Master. You know, there's something they uh, said that's still nagging me. Didn't they refer to the ruler of East as the Pirate Princess? Kind of sounds like Drake. I agree. Her name keeps coming up in my mind as well. However, I can't imagine her ruling over a band of horrid pirates like this. Okay, that's enough. There's no point in speculating. We'll find out who this pirate princess is when we meet her face to face. For now, I think it'd be best if we keep moving forward. Perhaps it's just my own naivete that I can't imagine a country ruled by a pirate princess. Still, that doesn't mean I should just ignore it. I have to see what it's like for myself. If I'm ever going to become king myself one day, I should know how other countries are run. It's like another kind of training. That's all well and good, but you know, you're only going to end up... Stop that, Da Vinci! Don't go dashing his dreams while he's still young and hopeful. <clears throat> I think that's very admirable, forward-thinking at... That's a very admirable, forward-thinking attitude, Fergus. Are you sure you're okay? You're not holding yourself back too much, are you? If you just gotta say, I bet the Lady Pirates look like to dock on the port side, if you know what I mean. Something else terrible like that. Look at you, Astolfo, cracking the dirty jokes. You're a good boy. I bet you like to, uh, dock them in their port side, too. We'll understand. I'm perfectly okay not saying anything like that. And I don't know what dock on the port side means. Poor little boy.
fighting more riders, we need another assassin. I'm gonna bring the lowly. The lowly just makes too much sense for fighting all women. <sighs> you are quite good. No other man I've called up here has satisfied me like you have. They've either tired out far too quickly or completely lacked technique. Hot milky. Really? I'm honored. Yes, yeah, since I was able to satisfy her, I don't have to worry about them killing me. When I first got dragged down here, I didn't know how I was able to survive. Who'd have thought that all my philandering on the surface would pay off here? What luck. Just you wait. I'm going to claw my way up to the top. First, I'll use this woman to stay alive, then I'll... You've treated me to such wonderful sights this evening. Your lovely face as you latched onto my breast like a baby. Your lovely face as you closed your eyes and desperately pleaded for your own sweet release. Your handsome face as you barely kept from screaming in pain. Thank you. I had a wonderful time. This will be a lovely memory. N not at all. I'm the one who should be thanking you. Please feel free to call me on, uh, on me again whenever. There's just one last thing I'd like to see from you before we call it a night. Do you know what that is? The look of despair on your face is, even after all I've just told you, I end your life. Huh? Ah! <laughs> 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 What a lovely face that last one was. Oh, it's getting me excited all over again. Do you know what my only two teachings are? Take whatever you want, whenever you want it. And do not want what you have taken. Now that I own your body and your last wonderful expression, I no longer need them. Ah. <sighs> I love how easy it is to dispose of things here in this city. All you have to do is consign whatever you no longer need to the waves. Dead bodies in the river. Now then, I wonder what sort of man I'll take to bed next. There's no shortage of possibilities or replacements. I'll always get to try someone new. After all, you can't take what you want, uh... Take what you already own. So I'll keep on taking everything I don't have. Everything I desire. And when I'm done, I'll throw it all away. What a wonderful way to live. Man, you sped through. <laughs> Damn it, Drake. You sexual monster. Well, so far so good on making it inside. I've seen this kind of city before. Indeed, it reminds me of Venice, what with all these canals. Of course, compared to that charming city on the water. Yes, there's nothing charming about this place at all. All I hear is angry shouts, tortured screams, and the din of gambling. The only smells are cheap liquor, uh, liquor and blood. And were those gunshots just now? Not to mention this place is filthy. Indeed, there are many things that have been carelessly cast aside. Pulleys, swords, belts, blankets, wine, uh, wine bottles. I can't even tell if they've been thrown out or not. Many of them seem as though they could still be used. It seems as if they were thrown out. After only being used once, not because they were no longer functional. I haven't seen such wasteful indulgence since my days spent among French nobility. I may have been accustomed to it then, but now. Sure feels like a place a bunch of nasty brutish pirates would live. We'll be in f we'll be in for it if we get caught. So, how do we get to this ruler lady anyway? Taking the canals would seem to be the fastest way. Should we steal a gondola? I think I can steer one. No, that would draw too much attention. 
Let's save that for a last resort, and start by trying to make our way in as far as we can on foot. I just hope Foe doesn't stand out too much. Oh, oh. Yeah, cute creatures like him do tend to draw the eye. Even more when they're hanging around cute people. Not naming names, though. Moving inconspicuously and finding places to keep a low profile. These are both key stills for any good spy. I think I had... I think I had the best lead... Uh, I think I had best lead the way for, mo uh, for the moment. Keep your wits sharp and step lightly. Remember, we're right in the middle of enemy territory. Got it. Good to know, as I was chiefly speaking to you. Since this is a covert operation, we'll refrain from any, any unnecessary transmissions on our end, too. Please be careful, everyone. Hold it. Is this a tavern? There are so many people inside. We need to make our way behind it, but... Yeah, the windows and the entrance are totally open. If anyone comes out from there, they might see us. Unfortunately, it looks like there's no other path forward. We'll just have to wait for an opening and move quickly. Let's see what things are like inside. Alright, last throw. Miss, miss, miss! Take aim and yeah! Oh! Yes, right in the eye. I win. Okay then, like the boss always says, I'm gonna take what I desire for myself. Hand over your favorite redhead like you promised. I already had my fun with him anyway. Besides, we're not supposed to want what we've taken. I still hate losing though. Hey you, get me a drink and step on it. Y yes ma'am. <laughs> Naked waiter in apron. <sighs> aye aye aye. What do you think you're doing, you idiot? Now my boots are all wet. Oh, what a waste. I was going to bring him home because he was a bit of a looker. And you just had to go and knock one of his teeth out. You know how you're supposed to apologize, right? Lick it up. Yes, ma'am. Come on, put your back into it. That's it. Looks like you were thirsty. <laughs> Ugh. Why would they do things like that? If they just wanted to vent, they would have only slapped him once, or is the humiliation the whole point? I don't understand. How could anyone enjoy things like that? There must be more entertaining things those pirates could be doing. This is horrible. Yes, but it's also our chance. Now that everyone is focused on their terrible spectacle, we can sneak in behind them. This may be the best opportunity we get to move in without being spotted. However, It's also our chance to rescue those men. Master, you're saying that even knowing full well what our situation is, aren't you? I know, but I can't just turn my back on them. Very well, then. I will follow your orders, whatever they may be. Are you okay with that, Ryder? Huh. <laughs> if you insist, I guess I've got no choice. It's a question of morale, after all. It may be risky, but when but we should be alright as long as we take care of them quickly. <laughs> I'm glad you're my master, master. You're kind of a dummy, only not, you know? There's no reason you can't be both a fool and a hero. Many of the greatest Celtic heroes have also been great fools. It's much worse than to be a coward. To be honest, I find the way these women live appalling. I almost pity them. But I also can't turn my back on the men they're abusing like this. I may not understand why they do it, but I can still fight against it. Then it's decided. Come, we shall finish this quickly. <laughs> Gotta kick some pirate ass. Only one battle against five pirates. So we should kill two of them now. Mm. 
Don't argue, y'all. Don't do it. Well done. We beat them before they could call for help. And luckily, it seems no one noticed the scuffle. <laughs> All thanks to our skill and good habits. Whew. Sounds like there was a hell of a party in here while I was taking a leak. What are you all? <gasps> what the? Who the hell are you guys? Hey, we're under attack. Damn it, shut your mouth. The other pirates must have heard that. The whole town sounds like it's in an uproar now. Ah, just our luck that we'd be there and for a pirate in the bathroom when this went down. Reminds me of uh, Cowboy Bebop when they're in the movie. <laughs> when they're helping the uh, convenience store. Some dude walks out of the toilet. And you! You take too long to take a crap! Maybe next time our habits should include clearing every room. We can argue about that later. Right now we need to find a place to hide or we're done for. Okay, we should be able to lay low here for a while. Man, it seems like the whole war uh, town's looking for us right now. It'd be nice if things died down soon. Do you really think they will? After we snuck into their base and took out some of their allies? Nah. So you do understand the mess we're in? Good. Now the question is, what's our next move? We could make a tactical retreat and try again later, but even that won't be easy now. Indeed. What's more, we are not far from the largest mansion in the city, where I presume we will find the pirate's leader. That said, I don't see how we can reach the mansion given the current circumstance. Who goes there? <laughs> Hi there, miss. You guys want to go to that mansion? I can show you the way if you want. A child? Huh. Well, I guess we shouldn't be too surprised that these pirates might have a kid, especially given how... Randy, they seem. 
Yes, this is the first proper girl I've seen this entire city. Miss, I appreciate your offer, but we can't afford to stand out too much. You mean you want to play hide-and-seek on the way? <laughs> You're funny. But that's okay, I know a secret path that goes right to the mansion from here. <gasps> oh, savior goddess, you deserve a head pat. <laughs> that tickles, but thanks, I like head pats. Master, you mustn't be so trusting. You need to be more wary around... I'd rather have a master that was too trusting than one who'd haul off and punch a little kid like this because she was wary of her. I agree. The pirates may be our enemy, but kids are still just kids. They should be cherished as the treasures they are. I know why you'd be wary, Dan, but my super keen senses tell me this isn't a trap. She's just a kid, and I don't sense any hostility from her at all. I agree. This girl doesn't have any weapons. In fact, um, she didn't seem to have much of anything at all. She seems rather destitute, despite having access to all these things that may have been thrown away. Hmm? Never mind. I shouldn't pity her when I don't know her full situation. Anyway, we can't stay here forever. In fact, it looks like we should go get moving very soon. Why is that? Great, I should have guessed. There they are, this way. Stay out of sight, young lady. You can show us the way once we've taken care of this. Besides, even if she does have an ulterior motive, she can't make things any worse for us. Oh yeah, good point. With the kid watching and all. It's going to be a hassle, alright, but okay. After all, if you're going to go after something, you've got to have convictions. because she's fucking everyone inside.
So my real question is when can we put Saber Altar in her Shinjuku outfit? Would be nice. You are dead. Bye bye. なん、天満 Alrighty, um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here for now. I am tired. <laughs> I don't wanna make the stream boring out of my lack of Genki. So, thank you all for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe to Otaku Daikun for more anime lists, reviews, discussions, lore videos, let's plays, and the Holy Waifu Wars. Definitely be sure to check out the lore of Penthesilia. And as always, celebrate your fandom.